I remember the very first time I met Santa Claus. It was in Nevada City, California for a celebration of a Victorian Christmas. It is so good to see you. I don't Jerry, know if you remember. You do remember me. It's been a year almost. It has been it a year. It has been. Good and to see you again. I'm kind of curious. What side of the list am I on this year? You want to take a wild guess? Oh, boy. Does the word coal come to mind? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's good news and bad news. At I least know. it may, may match the one you gave me last year. It probably will. I took a picture of it, and I'm looking for, well, the elves are looking for one right now. Uh, speaking of the elves, will yes. you tell them I said hi? I will do Bunch that. Bunch of great hey, guys. They know there. how to party. They you're really do. As Santa steered his rangers toward my house, he set into motion a Christmas tragedy of epic proportion, and it all started with a broken water pipe. Well, if you can believe it or not, this is the second Christmas in a row that this has happened to me. I got up to a, to a flooded living room, a hot water pipe broke, and it was just a mess. So I called the repair guys, and uh, for three days... All I heard was the sound of jackhammers. They had to tear through the cement and rip up the place, and they left a, a huge hole. Well, it was more like a trench. And the scary part was that uh, the cement had jagged edges all around it, and they had carpet piled up all around the side. It was so easy to trip. I mean, it, it was an accident just waiting to happen. As Santa landed on my roof and prepared to go down my chimney, he had no idea of the dangerous situation he was about to get himself into. It started as a quiet night throughout the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. And then from the roof, I heard such a clatter, I ran into the living room to see what was the matter. And that's when I saw all the splatter. He had a broad face and a round little belly, and when he landed, it shook like a bowl full of jelly. And before my eyes, there he lie, head first in the dirt, looking like a human mud pie. Then, with a wink of his eye and a turn of his head, that's when I felt a sense of dread. Even dear Rudolph appeared to be dead. The jolly old soul whose fall shook me from my bed looked at me, and this is what he said. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a g <coughs> I thought poor Santa had settled in for a permanent nap, but then, in a snap, he awoke in a flash, tightened his sash, and with Rudolph in tow, up the chimney they both did go. In the distance I heard him declare, as fast as you can, get in the air, on Donner, on Blitzen, hit the sky, put some miles between me and this guy. <laughs> 